Um, but that brings us down to your neck of the woods there, brother. A quick trip down State Highway 1 to the um, the city of the future, I'll say, and home of the Chiefs. So we'll go through some of their ins and outs. Uh, again, massive losses. So Retallick, Sam Kane, uh, Peter Gus Sawakula, Brad Webber, Alex Nankivu gone, Brent Gatlin gone, Ta'aval's gone up to the Blues, and yeah, and a few others. So um, quite some massive losses. Some of the all-time best ever players uh, leaving for that franchise. And, yeah, not a lot coming in, to be honest. Uh, Jimmy Tupo, I'll say, someone who played for the Blues, uh, he's decided to return to New Zealand rugby after some time overseas. Uh, Caleb Trask, another guy who was sort of on the cusp of potentially doing something. He's back from wherever he was. Uh, And Ruben O'Neill from the Crusaders. Uh, He's made the trip over to the Chiefs. So, uh, runners-up last Mm. year. Mate, I know that's your neck of the woods there, Joey. Um, talk us through the, uh, how you're seeing the Chiefs. Um, I think I think it's well overdue that um, old mate Clayton McMillan gets a title. <clears throat> um, and you know the the players under him this season are looking quite exciting. Um, it's, it's going to be nice to see because I watched the NPC last year quite closely as I was at the stadium, the home games, watching um, Quinn Tupaya come back from you know oh, his, yep. his knee injury. And um, he'll be a welcome piece in that midfield for, for the Chiefs. Um, and alongside Anton Leonard-Brown, that'll be, that'll be quite nice to see those two together. Um Obviously, the those key losses that you named, Sam Kane, Brody Retallick, uh, Brad Brad Weber, Brad Weber, and Peter Gus or Kula. Peter Gus, unfortunately, um, he was someone who was hugely affected by you know the the loss of his dear friend and fellow chief, um, and you know it's it was something that really affected his game and his off-field presence as well. As he, um, you know, word around the way was he often went missing and found it quite hard to adapt to life without his his, his brother. So, um, and rest in peace, Sean Wainui, and um, condolences again to his family. Um, but, yeah, the, the, the I guess the, the positives this year that I see are in the um the the backline stocks where they've got some some good talent there already and they've got some some guys who are yet to make a name for themselves yet to make a mark um i'm quite biased and excited to see Etienne and nice tour there again uh Sean Stevenson another one to see back there again um Anton Leonard Brown and Quintupaya, like I said. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how much game time they give to Joshua and Damian McKenzie at first five. Because they're both going for the first yep. five position. Um, but they're also, uh, well, Damian McKenzie more than Josh is known as a utility player that can play fullback as well as as he does at first five. So be interesting to see how they use Damon McKenzie, DMAC. Um, and I think the most interesting thing for me as a forward is to see how the the front row goes first and foremost. You know, you've got Aiden Ross, you've got um, guys like Jared Prophet, George Dyer, but Aiden Ross is probably the most experienced of the lot. Um, and then you've got the hookers, Brad Slater, Torren Thompson and Samsoni Tokiaho. So it'd be good to see Samsoni get some game or match fitness before the internationals, um, as you know, we all expect him to be there or thereabouts. Um, in the locking department, you've got guys who have been there for a few seasons now Josh Lord, Naito Akui, uh, Tupol Vai, and Jimmy Tupol uh, is coming in there. So yeah, it's it's going to be. 
I think the Chiefs season to lose based on how they finished up last year, the momentum they had as a core squad, and um, the way I see them this season coming together, you know, they will do exactly what they did last season, I, I believe. They will make it all the way to the final, and then it's up to them whether they choke again. Pause. Or <laughs> let that sink in. Or, um, you know, whether they take the whole, the whole thing this time. So, you know, I, I myself am biased. I want the Blues to, to go all the way and win it. But we'll see. There's a lot of changes that have happened at the Blues. More so than the Chiefs and possibly other teams as well. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see the Chiefs. Good luck to them. Um, I want to see some exciting running footy. And yeah, like I said, Clayton McMillan probably deserves to have a, a title. Get an interesting uh, McMillan. He's been, I, I don't want to say forgotten about, but when the All Blacks coaches were named, you know, obviously Robertson was going to get it. And the selectors he went for, I thought that McMillan, if you're going to pick someone based on their Super Rugby, man, he what he did, taking over from, from Warren Gatlin, who's, you know, widely regarded as one of the all-time great coaches. Mm. And he improved them so much compared to what um, Gatlin was able to get them to. Man, he's, got, he's been slipped on a little bit, so... And, you know, to keep the coaching staff relatively intact, I will have to check about the what's happening with all the the widest uh, coaching squad. But, yeah, for them to still have McMillan, that's a, a good point and a crucial uh, cog in their machine. So, um, yeah, good thoughts there. I'd really like to see Tupova I step up, you know. He's been the second guy behind Retallic, and he's sort of been in and around the All Blacks for a bit now. But, you know, it's, mm. it's his time he's got to kick on. You know, Retallic's yeah. not there anymore. He's going to be probably the senior lock now. And, you know, hopefully he can have a big year. And if he does, he can propel himself into, you know, potentially starting lock uh, calculations for the All Blacks. Um, and he's good enough. Hey? He's got. He's really athletic. He's got all the all the all the ingredients are there for him to be successful. So you know, it's up to him now to really kick on. And I like that point you brought up about Quintu Bia. He's another guy who I really like. Long term injury, so he might take a bit of time to to settle back into his game. But he's still only twenty four. Um, probably a few established guys ahead of him in terms of All Blacks, but. You know, if he can get back to what he was prior to his injury, you know, I think his combination with Leonard Brown as well, I think them two were really good in tandem, so and that could be lethal for them. So, yeah, um, I talked about the losses, but I still quite like the Chiefs, similar to you. I think they're going to be there or thereabouts. Uh, hopefully they play the Blues in the final, but um, yeah, we'll have to see what the Chiefs, uh, what the Crusaders and Co look like. But yeah, I'm quite high on the Chiefs. I think they can finish in the make it at least to the semis um, to, with the team they've got, and they've got some good luck with injuries. Yeah, 